Now, HSBC UK's swoop for Silicon Valley Bank UK, which it's bought for £1, was hailed this week as a major boost for the UK's tech sector and startups more broadly. The alternative of SVB UK becoming insolvent had raised fears for tech and life sciences companies who risked being deprived of their capital. But what does the future hold for those businesses once the bank is owned by HSBC? Well, with me now, I'm pleased to say is Ian Stewart. He's chief executive of HSBC UK. Ian, welcome to you. Um, Thank you. What made you want to buy this bank? Well, we're, we're in this industry. We, we like the tech sector. Um, we, we were very active last year. We've had two large funds totaling £750 million. Great take up by customers. But, you know, on, on Friday, I did not think we would be buying another bank come Sunday. It was opportunistic, but it allows us, I think, to accelerate our strategy by two or three years. We are very excited with what we've got. We've got really good people. And I think we've got actually a very good business that's been well run in the UK. So three things we want to do. We want to, first of all, underpin the business, because I think that's important. We've already put 2.2 billion of liquidity into the bank, give our customers confidence that we're doing the right thing. So the deposits are safe. You've got the HSBC bank behind your deposits now, so please don't worry about deposits. Um, and at the same point, as soon as we're through the underpin stage, which is hopefully a couple of weeks, and it's supporting the bank because a lot of the um, infrastructure is still with the parent in the US. So we'll cut that umbilical cord and put uh, our own uh, machinery in behind that. And then as quickly we can get through that as we can, we'll be into growth mode. So that's the exciting part. Give me a flavour of what it was like for you last weekend. I mean, there were other offers on the table. Why do you think you won out? Well, we always thought it was a very competitive situation. And then right up until, I, I would say, maybe 11 p.m. on Sunday, I still thought we were in a competitive situation. What we had decided, and I think we got to a decision internally around about 6.30 p.m. on Sunday, is that we, we'd done about five hours of due diligence, detailed due diligence, su superb job by my team to, to get that done. Um, did we see any black holes? No, but we couldn't be absolutely sure. So we decided as a group that we would put what we thought was our very best foot forward, no government support, at no point was an arm put up our back on this. This was a, a wanted transaction from HSBC's perspective. And as I say, we, we agreed what we thought was a, a fair transaction, fair price, and we put that forward. And um, thankfully, at the end of the day, that was successful. But I think it was the, the speed and the liquidity we had at hand to step in and do a very, very clean transaction. What about the quality of the loan book? I think it's got five and a half billion pounds worth of, of loans outstanding. Yeah. You, you won't be looking to call any of those in or change the terms on which they, those loans, loans were given? Well, you know, first of all, thanks for the question because it allows me to give our customers you know, comfort. We will not be calling in loans. Um, it's quite interesting, actually. Our investment bank colleagues really helped us understand the loan book, explained um, what the bulk of the loans were. We got comfortable with that really quickly. It's quite a short-term book. Um, there's bits that I have to say we're, we're, we were a little bit less sure of because we just didn't have the time. But, but by that point, I mean, we are a very large bank. We, we just put it through, through our sort of model and we thought we, we can live with that. And we made a decision and carried on. There was some commentary among tech companies and among the startup community after the takeover that SVB UK really understood the needs of tech companies and startups rather better than a traditional bank like HSBC. What, what would you say in response to that? Well, we're in this sector, it's a sector we like. So, so that would be my first response. I think what we get from this bank, which I think is really, really important, is we, we, we get just more expertise. And I'm absolutely delighted that Ern Platts has agreed to stay on as CEO, and we'll announce that more formally later, but I don't mind telling you that today. And Erin is a real driver on this business. And with the team that she's assembled there, I think we can really accelerate our plans and take that expertise and do other things with it across what is a very much an international bank in HSBC. Now, while we've got you, in, obviously uh, Credit Suisse is mm -hmm. in the eye of a storm right now. Do people really have anything to worry about about contagion risk here in this particular case? Oh, you, you, can, you can never say never, but what I would say, Ian, is that post the, the, the financial crisis, 2008, 2009, bank, banks in the UK are in a very different place. And that's where you've got to really congratulate good, strong regulation. I know we sometimes complain about it, but it's good. And here we are now, we're in a safe place. Banks are very well capitalised, great liquidity pools. 
I, I think it's very different from 2008. Good note uh, on which to end in. Good luck with the integration. Come and talk to us again about it. I'd love, love to, to hear more about it. Thank you very much. Thank you.